any time where I think that I can find just a little bit of joy or something positive in the midst of everything that's going on, I go on social media and I have to get hit with another post, another hashtag, another news article. I have to see that another one of my black brothers and sisters have died, but specifically black women. I think what bothers me the most about what happened to Toyin is that she left her home, a place that was supposed to be filled with love by people that are meant to protect her. She left so she could be safe. She was told by a black man that he would take care of her, make sure she was good. She disclosed to him that she had been sexually assaulted. And even after disclosing that information to him, he turned around and did the same thing. And I just feel like whether you're black or not, that shouldn't sit right with you. But especially as a black man, that should not sit right with you at all. When we get on social media or we talk to people and we say, we do not feel protected by black men, stories, victims like Toyin, those are the reasons why. Because it's apparent and it's blatant. I think about the fact that she was out there on the front lines using her voice and protesting after she had had such horrific experiences in the span of just, I think it was a day, and still finding the energy to go out and do what she knew needed to be done. And then at the end of it all, she loses her life because she still was not protected. Every single day when I hear that statement quoted that the most disrespected person in America is a black woman, it just seems to ring truer every single time. And to be honest with you, living in a world right now, living in the, in the world that we live in right now as a black woman, I am scared. It's scary. I don't feel safe. I feel like you really cannot ignore the fact that black women will fight, will scream and shout till we're black and blue about how black lives, the lives of black men matter so much, but we can't even get that in return. In turn, black men will continue to be friends with their rapey homies, their inappropriate friends. They will not address what they see or hear their friends doing. As that should bother you. You cannot sweep any form of abuse of any kind under the rug. And the same goes for black women. When you see something happening that you know should not be happening, you're trying to cover it up. You, 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 you can't. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't even think to do that. If someone is out of line, you gotta say something. And and black men, when you see, you see that a black woman is not safe, that she is in danger. I feel like you should naturally take on the responsibility to protect her. And when I get on social media and I will see black men say some things that they do, calling us out of our names, derogatory terms, just slander and hurtful things, and don't even think to s just sit and think for a second about why we 
say that we don't feel protected by black women, instead of trying to see it from our point of view, your first reaction is to deflect or to belittle or to completely just ignore a statement from a victim, whether it be assault or rape or anything. It's like you can't even just take a few moments to just get outside of your bubble to realize and see what's right in front of you. If black women were protected, then I wouldn't have to see what happened to Toyin happen to other women. I I have to obviously think about the fact that I know what happened to her. We all know what happened to her. So the reality is that that's happened to another black woman. And we just don't know about it. And that does not sit right with me. I don't... Uh, I don't even really know if I'm even going to edit this. I, I'm, I'm trying not to make it too long, but I, I, it's just, it's scary. Like, we got to protect each other. We got to love each other. We are all fighting for the same things. You want to see change. You want to stop seeing our brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins, fathers being taken from us, our children. We want to stop seeing it happen, but we got to start right where it begins with each other. Black women protect black women. Black black women protect black men. Black men, you got to protect black women. We got we got to start right here. When I think about the fact that I don't know for sure if Toyin had a black man in her life at any point really, truly, and genuinely protect her. I feel like so much of her life at 19 years old was just filled with pain and abuse. When I think about the fact that she may, ne may never have ever experienced what it means to be loved and protected by someone that you trust, it, it bothers me. And it just, it breaks my heart. We have got to take accountability for ourselves and accountability for each other with our actions and what we say. I just, I don't know. I, I just feel like I, I, I just, I, I think about ever since seeing that tweet about about 20 it's just I, I remember seeing when she went missing and people were looking for her and then for this to be the end result it's just like you know you have so much hope you're like nah she, she's good you know they're gonna find her you know and then to think that's how her life ended after she begged and pleaded for help it doesn't sit right with me I really don't know what else to say. I just feel like I had to say that. And I just wanted to be real and honest with you guys. Um, just protect each other, man. Love each other. Black men protect black women. And black women, we, we just continue to, to protect black men and do what we can.